Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.29 from the chapter number 4. Okay, the problem is implement a full subtractor with a decoder and NAND gates. Okay, that means we have to use a decoder that is for full subtractor we will have three inputs, two outputs, one is the difference and one is the borrow. The subtractor inputs are A, B and C, these are the three inputs and it's then the subtractor produces outputs, this difference D and borrow, B out, borrow out is the B0. So let us make the truth table first. So we have three inputs A, B and C a b and c and we will have two output difference and borrow output okay so for three inputs we will have eight combination so we'll have zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 so difference zero minus zero minus zero Okay, so we'll have difference is 0 as well as borrow is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0 and 0 minus 1, we have to take 1 borrow and the difference will be 1. Similarly, 0 minus 1, we have to take 1 borrow and the difference will be 1. Then we have 0 minus 1, so we have to take 1 borrow. Okay, then 0 minus 1 will be 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, so 1 minus 0 is 1 and 1 minus 0 is 1. Difference is 1 and borrow is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0. Difference is 0 as well as borrow is 0. So here we have 1 minus 1 is 0. So 0 minus 0 is 0. So borrow is also 0. 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 minus 1. We have to take 1 borrow and the difference will be 1. Okay, so this is the truth table for the full subtractor. So the difference for the difference we'll have. Suppose these are the mean terms. M0 m1 m2 m3 m4 okay m5 m6 and m7 okay these are the mean terms difference is the sum of this one this one we have to see only the ones this one is for m1 comma m2 comma then we have m4 and m7 m4 and m7 okay similarly borrow out is sum of this is sum of mean terms expression okay so we'll have m1 m2 m3 m1 m2 m3 okay and m7 m7 okay so these are the two functions okay here we can see that this is m1 means a bar b bar c plus these are the sum of mean terms okay we have the summation so that means m1 plus m2 plus m4 plus m7 okay we have to write like that so previously we have in the last problem we have seen that in the problem number 4.27 i have already shown that this uh, addition operation can be realized with inverted input nand gate so let us draw the so first of all let us draw the 3 into 8 decoder because we have 3 input and we will have 8 outputs, 8 mean term outputs. So the inputs are A, B, and C. 2 to the 2 square, 2 to the power 1, and 2 to the power 0. 3 is to 8 decoder. So here we will have 8 output lines. Okay. So this is M0, M1, M2, M3, M4 m5 m6 and m7 okay these are the output lines so we have two output functions that are the sum of mean terms expression but we have to use nand gates only we cannot use or gates okay so what we'll use we will use nand gates for inverting the inputs and as well as nand gates for realizing these functions so one nand gate will be for the difference and another NAND gate will be for borrow out in the first case we have for the difference we have m1 m2 m4 and m7 okay so first of all let us invert using a NAND gate here m1 okay so this will be one input m1 then we have m2 so use a sorted input NAND gate to invert this output of this decoder and use as input here okay 
then we have m4 use another sorted input in and get okay so this will be third input okay then we have m7 m7 is this one okay so we'll use here another input so this is the d difference output then we have borrow output so for borrow output we have m1 m2 m3 and m7 okay so m1 we have already find we have already gone inverted m1 so this will be one input then we have m2 m2 take a line from this one then we have m3 m3 is this one so use an inverter here okay so this is the third input of this gate and m7 m7 we have already here take a connection from here and give it to the input of this second name gate so here we have the borrow output so this is the full subtractor circuit using a decoder 3 to 80 decoder and nan gates okay here we have used all the nan gates thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you